Welcome back, everybody. My name is Silent Knight, and it is time for more Philadelphia Eagles franchise. But first off, I made a mistake. While I was going to play Week 8 against the San Francisco 49ers, I inadvertently skipped the week, thus advancing it and simulating the game. This Niner team was coming into this week 0-7, and, and we were 4-3. and We did get the victory. Looking here at the box score and all the stats, I do think it's pretty accurate to what would have happened. Heavily relying on the ground, another mediocre slash decent game for Wentz. Defense played pretty good, got a couple sacks, did get an interception. So we are heading on to week 9, where we take on the Denver Broncos. We are 5-3. and three. Again, my bad. Accidents happened. This is my first series, so I do apologize for that. I, of course, am in no way of trying to dodge a team, let alone one that's 0-7. It would be a decent week to put up a lot of stats, but anyway. It is time for more Philadelphia Eagles franchise. It is week 9 here in the NFL. We are 5-3. The Broncos come in at 4-3. Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At this point of the season, you got to look at your record, you got to look at your division, see where you are, and you also got to pay attention to the standings of the conference that you're in, in terms of a playoff berth. In week 10, these Eagles have a bye, so they're looking to go into the bye week with a two-game victory streak. Both these teams are in a respectable place with their record and their division standings, but everybody can't look ahead too far into the season. they got to focus on this week, right now, right here. The calendar has officially hit November. It's the second half of the season. Crunch time. What happened yesterday it doesn't matter. All eyes look forward. Go time. Eagles start first with it. Carson Wentz on the season, 52% completion percentage, 1,593 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 13 pesky interceptions. As this season keeps going on, he's definitely showing a lot of improvement, but he'd definitely have a tough task here today against an incredible secondary. First and 10, Wentz finds Ertz for 9 yards, second and 1 here from the 31-yard line. With the talented corners of this Bronco defense, you gotta wonder if they're gonna go with a lot of stuff attacking the linebackers and of course relying on the Gary Blunt in this ground game. Two-yard rush for Blunt, first down Philadelphia. Last week, Blunt went 21, 151, and one score. From the 33-yard line, first and 10 Eagles. Wentz hands off to Blunt, Blunt goes right side, where he's met by the linebacker, drops for a two- or three-yard gain. Stefan Wisniewski continues to start, filling in for Brandon Brooks, who's out for just a couple more weeks. Jeffrey Smith, the receivers, Spurls Blunt, the running back, and Zacher, it's the tight end. Second and ten from the pistol, Sproles takes the counter right side, and he runs it to a defender, engaged with the lineman, loss of one on the play. Facing third down, Wentz lines up in the shotgun. Little bit of time, no one's open, and he takes a sack from Richard Blanton. Facing this talented group, Wentz just should have thrown that away. I don't know if anybody was going to make it open regardless of it. Trevor Simeon leads the Broncos offense out of the field for the first time today. 63% completion percentage, 1,717 yards, 12 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Respectable season thus far for the third-year man. First and 10 from the 38, Simeon hands off to C.J. Anderson. Anderson takes the right side, or he's met by Brandon Graham. Offseason acquisition from Philly, Alan Barbre, Matt Paradis, and Ron Leary anchor this interior line. Tight end Virgil Green, receivers Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas, running back C.J. Anderson, and old face in new place, Jamal Charles. Second and nine, Simeon throws it away. Here is Eagles defense. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Tim Jernigan, Derek Barnett continuing a great season, linebacker core, Jordan Hicks, Nigel Bradham, Michael Kendricks, and the secondary. Safeties Malcolm Jenkins, Rodney McLeod, corners Ronald Darby, and of course, Sidney Jones. Simeon facing third and nine from the shotgun. Barnett gets free. Simeon rolls out, and he finds an open man in between two zones. Emmanuel Sanders for the 30-yard first down. Tight end sent in motion. Handoff C.J. Anderson goes right side. He doesn't get much where he's met by Rodney McLeod. Injury on the play. Sidney Jones will miss the rest of the game with a chest injury. This suspect secondary gets even weaker as they lose Sidney Jones for the day. That's a tough blow. Hopefully Jalen Mills is up for the task. C.J. Anderson met almost instantly, 3rd and 7 from the shotgun from the 28 yard line. Simeon drops back, Brandon Graham gets free, and Graham gets another sack! He's been on fire here these last couple weeks after a super slow start, where he managed, I believe, 0 sacks in the first 4 weeks. He has 7 thus far on the season. 1st and 10 from the 17 following the Denver field goal, Blunt takes a right side, or he's met instantly. And here is the elite Denver Bronco defense. Derek Wolf, Domita Pecco, Jeremiah Tachu, linebacker core, which may be their weakness, Shaq Barrett, Brandon Marshall, Todd Davis, Von Miller, and of course the elite secondary, Chris Harris Jr., Robert Blanton, Darian Stewart, and Aqib Tlaib. 
in all honesty, this defense doesn't really have a, a weakness. Pretty strong at all levels. Wentz finds Trey Burton across the middle. 10-yard gain, first down. Following two incompletions, it's third and 10. Wentz finds Sproles with a screen to the right side. He makes it across midfield. Nice little spin move there. And he's dropped for a gain of about 19. That might be the most efficient screen this Eagles offense has run all season. Sproles takes it in the second time, runs the right side, where he's met right at the line of scrimmage. Two for negative one so far for Sproles. Third and ten here from the 49-yard line. Wentz finds Aguilar, who comes down with that at the 42-yard line, short of the first down. Eagles are being aggressive here and going for it. Wentz drops back. He's got time, and he finds Torrey Smith right side. It is a first down Philadelphia. If I'm Denver there, I would have challenged. It looks close to me, but again... First down, Philly. Handoff goes to Pumphrey Jr. He takes the right side for a gain of 10. It looks short of the first down, though. Second and inches from the 28-yard line. Wentz drops back. Jeffrey gets ahead of his man. It is an underthrown pass and is intercepted by Akib Dalib. Interceptions are always a backbreaker, especially when they happen every game. But up here near the red zone, that is especially crippling. Turnover on downs. Denver ball to the 12-yard line. Simeon drops back. He finds a diving Demarius Thomas with a beautiful catch. Gain of 3 on the play. Following an offsides by the defense is second and two now from the 20 yard line. Simi with a fake handoff. He scrambles out and he manages to find Emmanuel Sanders across the middle. Gain of 17 on the play. Not surprised in their attack in the secondary that is without Sidney Jones. Second and 10. Simeon hands it off to CJ Anderson. Anderson gets met on the play by Jordan Hicks. What a stout middle linebacker for this Eagles team. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Simeon with the drop back. Intercepted on the play by Jalen Mills, filling in for Sidney Jones. That's what you need to see. This secondary immediately makes a statement that even though they're undermanned, this may still be a no-fly zone. Jalen Mills drops back with the zone and just sits there. Johnny on the spot, intercepted right around midfield. Wentz drops back and he finds Trey Burton, who crossed from the middle on the right side of the play. Gain of looks like about one. Last play of the first quarter, handoff goes to Smallwood, goes right side, and he's met for a short gain on the play. Eagles are down three to start the second quarter. Wentz drops back, and he finds Elshon Jeffrey, who makes a nice possession catch at the 24-yard line. First and ten from the 26, Eagles have a nice little drive here, marching down the field, albeit a little bit conservatively, but you kind of have to against a defense this talented. Screen pass out to Mac Hollis, gains nothing on the play, even lost a yard. As these Eagles head into a bye and the second half of the season, they might want to consider dumping screen passes. They are pretty terrible at them. Third and 18, Wentz finds Ertz for the first down. The defender threw him across the line of scrimmage. No huddle. First and 10 from the 15. Delayed handoff goes to, to Sproles. Sproles makes one man miss, and he takes it across up to the 11-yard line, gaining four on the play. Second and six, handoff goes to Blunt. He makes one guy miss, and he takes it up to the 6-yard line. It is third and one on the play now. Delayed handoff goes to Blunt. Blunt stumbles, and he trips short of the first down. Injury on the play. Jeremiah Tachu would get hurt, and he will miss the rest of the game. Wonder if it's a long-term injury, but at least for us, we do not have to deal with him for the rest of the day. Eagles tied up with a field goal. Denver takes over from the 25-yard line. Run outside on the play. C.J. Anderson takes it for gain of two. He's stopped by Nigel Bradham. Pump handoff on second down. C.J. Anderson gets met in the backfield by two Eagle defenders. Fletcher Cox leading the charge. Third and ten. Shotgun here for Denver. Delayed handoff. No fake handoff. Brandon Graham picks him up and Waterboy slams him. His second sack of the day. Brandon Graham is out here making plays. Following a short punt, the Eagles take over from the 46-yard line. Wes drops back and he finds Darren Sproles going right side. He stops short of the first down giving Wentz 102 passing yards on the day with a rather efficient passing attack thus far, minus that interception. Akib Tlaib just made a great play on that one. Third and one, Wendell Small gets to carry. He takes it to the second level, a gain of about nine on the play. Eagles running game's having a pretty solid day so far. And just as this offense starts to get momentum, they call another stupid screen, and of course they're met for a loss of four on the play. They just need to give up on these screen passes. Second and 14, Wentz drops back. He finds Jeffrey crossing the, to the right side, gain of about six on the play. Making it third and seven, Eagles line up in the shotgun. Wentz takes it, and he gives it to Blunt. Handoff gets just short of the first down. When you're playing a secondary this talented, you want to kind of be conservative and get whatever points you can at most of the time. Eagles have kicked the field goal and make it six to three, with four minutes to go in the first half. Simeon drops back on first down, who overthrows Emmanuel Sanders across the middle. Three for seven on the day so far for Simeon. Second and ten. Play action from Simeon. He drops back and he finds Demarius Thomas on an underthrown ball. Great catch there by Demarius. Eagles would challenge the catch, but it would remain a catch and a first down. 
first and ten from the 42. Simeon drops back. Play action again. Elijah Qualls almost gets there and is intercepted by Malcolm Jenkins. This defense is making great plays. Malcolm Jenkins with his first interception of the season. This defense may give up a fair bit of yards and a decent bit of points, but they are really opportunistic when it comes to sacks and interceptions. I would love to own this defense in fantasy football. Torrey Smith gets to carry here on an end around. He gets his face ripped off. Here you see Napoleon Dynamite chilling out here on the sideline with Doug Peterson. They're going to accept this call. It is a first down from the 38-yard line for Philadelphia. Handoff goes to Blunt. He gets it to the second level, makes a defender miss, and is dropped down at the 33-yard line. Third and five, Wentz drops back. He's got a bit of time, and he manages to find Mac Hollis crossing to the left side in this play up to the 31-yard line. It is fourth and three. Eagles would kick another field goal. Trevor Simeon drops back from the 25-yard line here with a two-minute drill. Fletcher Cox drops down C.J. Anderson. Second and two from the 33-yard line. Simeon finds Emmanuel Sanders. He spins a man out of his shoes. That was Ronald Darby. He gets dropped down at the 49-yard line. First and ten for the Broncos here at midfield. He finds Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas makes one man miss, and he's dropped down at the 28-yard line. Broncos orchestrating a pretty decent two-minute drill here. 105 to go on the clock. Simeon drops back. Got a bit of time, Barnett makes it through, and Barnett gets the set, continuing his sensational season. Trevor Simeon looks to be in agony as he withers around on the ground, grabbing his left shoulder. He would come out of the game, bringing in none other than Denver faithful Brock Osweiler. Injuries all about so far this game. Second and 19, Osweiler drops back, and he finds his tight end for a gain of about five, it looks like. Still third and long. Osweiler drops back from the 32-yard line, finds Fowler on the crossing route, who managed to get a first down. Timeout Denver, second and 10, with 43 seconds to go. Nearly intercepted here on the play, intended for Demarius Thomas. Third and 10 from the 18-yard line. Osweiler drops back, Barnett gets free. It is a touchdown on the play to Demarius Thomas. He stretches just across the goal line as he's being tackled. The Broncos take a one-point lead with 30 seconds to go in the half. Eagles trying to get a two-minute drill of their own going here. Crossing route goes to Sproles, makes the completion, second and three, and is incomplete, intended for Ertz on the play. It is third and three with 17 seconds to go. Wentz with the drop back, and he gets mauled as he gets it away, narrowly in time. He found his receiver, Nelson Aguilar, for the first down. Nine seconds to go. Eagles are playing conservative ball here while still trying to move it. Aguilar makes the completion, five seconds to go. Eagles take their final timeout. Last play of the half, Wentz drops back, looking for it all for Jeffrey. He uncorks it. He gets it up to the four-yard line where he's caught and dropped, knocked out by the defender on the play. Fantastic pass defense as we go into halftime. Eagles trail by one. First half stats, Denver leading by score, passing yards, and yards per play. We do have two turn takeaways, though, and we are leading with our ground attack. First and ten on the first drive of the second half here. Denver takes over from the 39-yard line. C.J. Anderson takes the right side, gain of about 8 on the play, 2nd and 2 from the 40. Osweiler takes it from under center, hands it off to Anderson again, who makes it across the marker. First down from the 44, Osweiler in the shotgun, fake handoff on the play. He's got time, and he managed to get out to Demarius Thomas. Eagles look like they're having trouble matching up with the physicality that is Demarius Thomas. 5 for 75 thus far on the day and the touchdown. First and ten, Osweiler drops back in Eagles territory, and Fletcher Cox gets a sack while still being defended. He just said, get over here, and he dropped the quarterback. Lost a seven on the play. Eight sacks on the season so far for Cox. Michael Kendricks had a sack lined up too, but missed it. I don't know what he was trying to tackle out there. It must have been seeing a mirage. The incompletion makes it third and 17 from the 50-yard line. Osweiler in the shotgun, no one in the backfield. He drops back. Brandon Graham gets free, running in circles. Osweiler unloads it for Jamal Charles, who was outside, lined up on a corner, and he just burned him. Absolutely torched on the play by Jamal Charles, a 49-yard touchdown. Look on this play here. The replay shows two Eagle defenders running into each other. They collided. They basically picked themselves off. What a terrible defensive play there by Philadelphia. Eagles take over, down by eight points. Blunt gets a carry here as the Eagles take over on the 33-yard line. Nice first down run for Blunt in the play. Nine carries so far. First and ten drops back, and he gets sacked on the play by Shaq Barrett. Tough season so far for Wentz. He gets hit almost every other drop back, it seems like. Second and 18, Hanoff goes to Smallwood, who takes it outside. He makes one-man move. He jukes unnecessarily, where he's dropped 
Gain a three on the play. Still third and 15. Wentz drops back. He's got a little bit of time. And he finds Jeffrey again. These guys have quite the connection so far today. Wentz up to 17 for 147. And that interception. Third reception on the day for Jeffrey. First down from the 41. Another screen pass goes to Torrey Smith, who gets nothing on the play. These Eagles really need to consider not running those ever again. Handoff on the play goes to Blunt, who makes it up to the 42. Gain of about a yard, I believe. Third and 11, Wentz drops back and he finds his, Zach Ertz's trusty tight end, short of the first down though. What do the Eagles do here? Looks like they're coming out and going for it. Three seconds on the clock, two, Wentz has to snap it, one, and that is a delay of game. What terrible offensive awareness on the play. It's a delay of game penalty against the Eagles. Eagles would punt instead of going for the long field goal with a questionable kicker who's struggled so far this season. Second and two coming out of the play. Five minutes to go from the 27-yard. The handoff goes to CJ Anderson, who makes it across the first down, dragging Brandon Graham with him up to the 31-yard line. Another carry goes to CJ Anderson, who makes it up to second level. He makes one man miss, and he's dropped down by a slew of defenders on the play. 11 for 44 so far for CJ Anderson. Following an incompletion, it is second and 10. Anderson gets a screen pass on this one, where he's dropped down by Nigel Bradham, who goes through a defender to make the nice tackle. Six for 10, 106 on the day for Brock Osweiler. Third and four fake handoff to Jamal Charles. Osweiler's got a little bit of time. He finds Demarius Thomas up at the 25-yard line. These two receivers, Thomas and Sanders, are shredding this makeshift secondary right now. Handoff left side to Anderson, who gets nothing on the play, even a loss of three. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Osweiler from shotgun. He drops back. Got a little bit of time. One man gets free and is intercepted by Jordan Hicks. Three turnovers today for this Eagles defense. Up to the 40-yard line. What a return. Jordan Hicks is the superstar in the making. He just seems to excel at every facet of the game. Eagles offense takes over from the 38-yard line. Wentz drops back. Play action. He finds Sproles one more time. Makes it across right up to the 50. Eagles are spending a lot of time on their own logo. First and 10. Wentz drops back. He's got actually some time on this play. He finds Trey Burton going left side, who does manage to get the first down up to the 40-yard line. Wentz drops back. Got more time again. He finds Trey Burton one more time. Gain of, I think, three on the play. Brought down by the play by Von Miller. Second and eight. Wentz drops back. He finds Torrey Smith. First down, Philadelphia. But wait, there's a holding penalty on the play. Shades of week one and two. That is a crippling penalty on the play. That one really hurts. Chance Warmack, the left guard position for this Eagles offense, is cursed with holding penalties. Second and 18, Wentz finds Smallwood out of the backfield. No, but he drops it. That would have been short of the first down anyway, but they were getting closer. It would have been a third and short. Now it's still third and 18. Wentz drops back. He finds Aguilar. Aguilar with the first down. He takes it up to the 24-yard line. This Eagles offense has momentum. They're going no huddle. Play action. Wentz drops back, and he gets sacked on the play. Von Miller with a sack. You can't keep this man contained. It's about time he managed to get in the backfield. Handoff on the play goes to Blunt, second to 13. Makes one man miss. And he unloads on the would-be tackler up to the 12-yard line. That player is hurt, and that player would be Chris Harris Jr., the Broncos' stud corner. This team may have just gotten a little bit easier. Two pass against. We'll see if the Eagles get aggressive here going forward. First and 10 from the 12-yard line. Wentz drops back. He's got time. He rolls out, and he trucks the defender. He gets met right at the 2-yard line. 10-yard run of the play by Wentz, and first down. Blunt gets upended at the 2-yard line. I'm sorry, the 1-yard line. Second goal from the 1. Play action on the play from Wentz, and he finds his tight end on the play. Touchdown, Trey Burton. Eagles are down 2 following the touchdown. 17-50, Eagles are going for two. Wentz drops back, and he finds his another tight end on the play. Zach Ertz for the two-point conversion. It is all tied up here in Philadelphia. 10-31, left to go in the game. But devastation strikes here in Philly. It is quiet. Wentz gets hurt. He's grabbing his wrist. There's an eerie silence here in Philadelphia as the star quarterback of the Eagles hits the turf, grabbing his wrist. Nick Foles on the sideline warming up. Osweiler takes over from the 25-yard line. Play action on the play. Fletcher Cox gets by, but he stumbles over himself. Emmanuel Sanders going across the middle, and Osweiler finds him. Big game up to the 42-yard line. Under 10 minutes to go here. Osweiler scrambles out. He finds his tight end, Taylor, up to the 23-yard line. Following an incompletion and a false start on the offense, it is second and 15 from the 28-yard line. Osweiler drops back. He managed to get rid of it before getting decked by two Eagles rushers. Third and 15 on the play. Big third down. This could be the game. Osweiler finds Taylor one more time, but he's short of the first down. 
this Broncos offense would set her for a field goal. Offense is on the field minus the quarterback. It looks like Carson Wentz is coming back out. He called his own number. It looks like he's going to be okay. I don't know if he's playing with any kind of injury, but the heart and tenacity of this young quarterback is awe-inspiring for the rest of this offense. Let's see if they can go down and at least tie it up. Second and ten, Wentz drops back. He finds Jeffrey. Jeffrey drops it, but it looked like the defender had his hand up and around the head. It looked like his head turned the opposite direction. He was running a scary play here in Philadelphia. This is reminiscent of the Terrell Owens play years back where he got horse collared and it broke his leg going the opposite direction. Jeffrey is okay, but it is first down Philadelphia. Blunt makes it up to the second level. He takes it all the way across the 50 to the 42 yard line. Longest rush of his day. Under seven minutes to go. Screen pass here goes to Aguilar. Aguilar takes it across the 40. He moves the defender out of the way. He's brought up just around the first down marker. Longest screen pass of the day for the Eagles besides that one to Sproles earlier. Wentz goes across the 200-yard passing mark. Sproles takes it up the middle. He gets a first down. He jukes the defender out of the way up to the 20-yard line. 5 for 19 for Darren Sproles. First and 10, 5.30 to go. Handoff goes to Smallwood. He's stuffed. No, he managed to break free. Huge third down here for the Birds. Wentz drops back. He finds Sproles short of the first down. Questionable decision, but I guess conservative instead of blowing it with a turnover. Eagles tie it up with a field goal. From the 25-yard line, Denver takes over. Under four minutes to go now. 3.30 on the clock, second and 10. Osweiler drops back. He hands it off to C.J. Anderson, who makes it a long run for a first down. 14 for 52 for C.J. Anderson. Handoff goes to Anderson one more time, takes it outside, where he's met by an Eagles defender. He's dropped down. That is the two-minute warning. Eagles have 11 points here in the fourth quarter. Can they complete the comeback? Following two incompletions and a punt, Eagles take over from the 40-yard line. Well, Small gets the first carry of this two-minute drill. He gets nothing on the play. Loss of three. One thirty left to go. Eagles are playing conservative. They don't want to blow it. Just enough time to do something stupid. Following the second down incompletion, it's third and 13. One thirty to go. Wentz drops back. Little bit of time. He throws it to Alshon Jeffrey. He's almost intercepted. There is an injury, and it is Von Miller. The former Super Bowl MVP is on the ground, grabbing his back, withering around in pain. That is a tough loss, not just for this game, but for the extended future, as he will miss a few weeks. First and ten following a Philadelphia punt. Denver has the ball from the 20-yard line. It looks like Osweiler just throws it away. Second and 15, 110 to go. Osweiler uncorks one. Demaryius Thomas gets in front of the defender and he's down into the 38-yard line. A crippling pass here for this Philadelphia Eagles defense as they may now be in field goal distance with one of the best kickers in football, Brandon McManus. Patrick Robinson was in front of him the entire route and Demaryius Thomas just turned on the afterburners and just blazed past him. 47 seconds to go. Handoff goes to C.J. Anderson. Met right at the line of scrimmage. Gain of about two, possibly. Looks like they're playing conservative here. 30 seconds to go. Osweiler hands off. No play action. And he's dropped down by Michael Kendricks. Huge loss in the play. Third and 15 from the 44. Third and 15. Osweiler standing tall. Barnett makes it into the backfield. And is an incompletion on the play for Osweiler. They chose not to attempt a 61-yard field goal, thus sending it to overtime following a punt. Eagles won the toss, and they take over from the 25-yard line to start overtime. Remember, if we score a field goal, Denver gets a chance to equalize or win. If we score a touchdown, game over. Second and 10 following the short handoff, Wentz drops back, and he's sacked again on the play by Shaq Barrett. 2.5 sacks for him so far this game. Third and 17, seven minutes to go. Wentz drops back. He's looking for it all for Jeffrey. He has it in one hand, and it comes loose. It is knocked down with a beautiful pass deflection on the play. Eagles would punt. Denver takes over from the 41-yard line. C.J. Anderson takes it left side. He's met by Fletcher Cox. Gain of just two on the play. Second and nine. Osweiler hands off to C.J. Anderson again, who goes up the middle one more time. He's met again by Fletcher Cox. Third and five. Play action goes to Jamal Charles. Osweiler standing tall in the pocket. Got some time. He finds Demarius Thomas again. He was breaking the Eagles' hearts. First down, Denver. On the day, Demarius Thomas has eight receptions, 160 yards, and one score. This defense really misses Sydney. Handoff goes to CJ Anderson. Gaping hole set up here by this Denver offensive line. First and 10 from the 30 yard line. Four minutes to go. Osweiler drops back. Finds his tight end, Jake Butt. Gain of three on the play. This Eagles defense has to force a turnover. Lining up in the pistol, Osweiler drops back. Looking for it all, and he finds Emmanuel Sanders for the touchdown. And that is a heartbreaking defeat here for Philly in front of these Philly faithful. What a devastating loss. 
a great defense that we played a very conservative offensive attack against, and we managed to bang out a near defeat. We stayed in until the very last moment. What a heartbreaker. All in all, I'm disappointed, but I'm very satisfied with how this game played out. Wentz led a very conservative eagle attack against an elite defense. On the ground, we got a little bit moving, but kind of what you'd expect against a very stout defense. Alshon Jeffrey still is struggling on these 50-50 balls. We definitely need to find a way to get the ball in his hands and have him to excel at what he does best. Our secondary got shredded once Sidney Jones went out. Two good receivers with a corner and a half for the most part. It was definitely a tough game to try and play defense against the, the receivers of this caliber. The ground defense and our pass rush I was very satisfied with. Fletcher Cox had 10 tackles, our linebackers did very well. But again, it's just very tough to try to bang against receivers of this caliber when you have an undermanned secondary to begin with and one that's not incredibly talented right off the bat. Losing Sidney Jones was crippling for this defense. Even with the loss, I think this is probably one of the more accurate true to NFL games that I've played so far. I don't mind losing, not one bit. Uh, the injuries I was very happy with. They obviously hurt. The, losing Sydney was painful for us. They lost Von Miller, Atachu, their quarterback. We lost our quarterback for no time at all, but he was injured. So we are on to our bye week. If you take a look here, Denver is without Von Miller for five weeks and Atachu for two weeks. With broken ribs and a shoulder tear, respectively. We head into our bye week looking to regroup, get better. We are 5-4, third place in division. Coming out of our bye, we are on to division-leading Dallas. It's go time. Let's make the playoffs, boys.